Hey, let's talk potty training. Um, I often, when I go out and talk to people with new puppies, we often, of course, have to talk about potty training. And one thing that's important to understand with puppies is they don't necessarily care if they pee or poop inside or outside. So it is up to us to show them the difference of where the value is. So what I often recommend is um, we need some structure and some management. So first of all, um, a good rule of thumb is take your puppy out every hour on the hour and take them out, maybe in the beginning, even on a leash and take them out to the place where is the place where they like to go potty. So then when they go and just kind of be quiet, let them do their thing. When they're done peeing or pooping, that's when the fun starts. So that's where the treats comes out. This is where the leash maybe comes up. This is where you start playing the ball, uh, running around the yard, playing fetch, doing things that they truly think is, is of high value and is fun. Just five, 10 minutes, and then you can go inside again. So now that you go inside, your puppy has now earned the freedom to run around in a bigger area for half an hour, 50 minutes. And then you have to start all over again when it's on the hour, you take your puppy out again. There are some exceptions to this rule. And that is if your puppy just woke up after a nap or just ate or drank some water, he or she needs to go out again within 10 minutes. Now, if you take your puppy outside and nothing seems to really happen, take your puppy inside again. However, do not give your puppy just freedom to roam, no. This is where you take the puppy in and either put your puppy in a crate, an exercise pen, or stay on the leash attached to you for just five minutes. Manage your dog so they don't have free roam of the house. So you manage it either, as I said, crate, X pen, or a leash for just five minutes, and then you go outside again. Again, if nothing happens, go inside again and repeat until dog is successful outside. Now the leash comes off, now you get to play. So what we're doing with this kind of structure is to show the dog that where the value really is, is outside. So when you go potty outside, now the fun can start. What we often see is where people go a little bit wrong is, first of all, they give the dog too much freedom. Uh, they don't manage and supervise the dog. So therefore, the puppy often um, gets to practice the unwanted behavior, which is peeing inside. And also we forget the structure that they need. They have tiny bladders. And if they just woke up after a nap, they need to go outside. If they just drank some water, or ate some food, yeah, within 10 minutes, they need to go outside. So take charge of it. Be that manager of your dog's routine. It might seem like a lot in the beginning, but I tell you, the more structure you are and the more value you put into reinforcing that behavior outside, the smoother the potty train is going to go. Now, will there be accidents in the house? Yeah, you might still have accidents in the house. And uh, should you put your dog's nose in it? No. Should you yell at your puppy? No. What you can do is, as Dr. Ian Dunbar say, you can roll up a newspaper and smack yourself on the head with it because you failed to supervise your dog. So structure and management is very important. And I want to say, um, with Murphy, did he have accidents inside? Yes, he did. Uh, and But then he did really well, and I thought... We got it. And then about five months of age, he started, he could be outside playing. He would come in, he would look at me and then squat down and pee right in front of me. And I was like, what the, I thought we got this all figured out. So I had to kind of go back and see where, what did I change? Why is he not quite understanding um, that the peen has to happen outside? And what I what I've soon came to realize is I start slacking a little bit. I would just let him out and thought he got it. He didn't. He got so busy playing and get distracted, he never really peed outside. And I was not there to supervise and make sure that he was successful in peeing outside. So what I had to do again was every time he had to go out, leash back on, outside to his potty area. As soon as he went potty, leash off. Now we could go have fun. And I just had to do it a few more times. And then we were back on track. So uh, I hope this is some good feedback to you guys with your puppies out there. So structure and management and add a lot of value to potty outside so they understand that there is a difference and you would prefer them to go outside when they have to pee or poop. Okay, I hope you can use this. Thank you.